Milton, you have, I've known you as a gospel singer, yep. as True. a radio announcer, True. and as a tractor salesman. True. Now you're running to be a county commissioner. Why? Wayne, thank you for asking that uh, question. It's a fair question to ask. For a lot of years, matter of fact, for decades, I've been approached by a lot of people throughout this county, not just the East End or West End, but I mean throughout the county, uh, leaders of the county in the past, Milton, you need to run. You need to get involved in government. You know, we need you in government. And I've been, uh, throughout my life, been very dedicated to whatever I'm at. If I was in the singing business, I was dedicated to it. If I'm in the uh, John Deere business, dedicated to that. Whatever I'm involved in, radio station business, dedicated to that. And I didn't have the time I felt like to put forth because you need time and effort really to do an effective job as county commissioner or any public office as far as that goes. So uh, with my retirement, I do have more time now, certainly. And uh, I think the time I've been listening for a lot of years and uh, uh, I have a lot of ideas to put forth and I want to offer that for our county. And I think that can be something that'd be very fruitful in the future years. What do you consider to be the major issues or things that the county commission will be facing during the next four years? If elected, you would, of course, be a four-year term. What, what do you think are the major things the county is already facing or will face during that period? Okay, we're already facing it, and we'll continue facing it, and that is development, how to handle the development. Now, currently I'm serving on the planning board and have been, and... We now have thousands of homes already approved to be, to be built. Now, there are not a thousands underway right at this moment, but they are to be built. And uh, so we've got to face that. Now, how in the world do you pay for it? Well, here, here's the, uh, the obstacle that you face as a county is that homes within, them, within themselves, the tax on them, actually doesn't pay for the infrastructure. That is your police, your fire, your schools, your roads and all that, it doesn't, it, tax bill won't pay it on a home. We need more development as far as corporate entities. Now, I see us as a last frontier, Wayne. That is, that if you look in the Charlotte area, we're one of the seven counties that makes up the metro area, and down the corridor of Highway 16, the new 16, four lane highway, uh, from there down to the Gas and Canyon Line and on to the Catawba River, the River Bend, we're sitting on an ideal time to develop and an ideal place to develop and have corporate entities. Just look at Charlotte. Look how Charlotte and Fort Mill Rock Hill area. If you drive down I-77, what you see is one business on one side, one on the other side, and you see employment. You see people... One of them, for example, has around 1,400 employees in one place. Now, you see a corporation after a corporation. We need that as a tax base here in this county. Not only as a tax base, but also it gives you employment. Now, how do we go about getting it? Number one, we have to have something in place in order to attract the industries. And right now, we do not have it in place. And I'll honest you, we don't. It's kind of like the farmer. You're talking about being involved in singing and all that. I've also been a farmer, so I can relate to that also. But before you have a crop, what do you have to do? You have to plant a seed in the ground. Whatever it is, be it corn, be it grain, or whatever, you've got to put that forth. This county has got to come forth. And people say, well, we can't afford it. The truth is we can't afford not to. We've got to put forth the effort to get water and sewer down that 16 corridor. And then we've got to have in place, through Lita or whomever, but work together to attract industry here as, as far as corporate offices. I see five, six, seven, eight-story buildings down that road, and which would be ideal for us because they don't use as much water, don't use as much sewer, but yet you've got employment. So I see that, and then we can talk about schools, we can talk about the education level, we can talk about the aspect of safety in our schools, we can talk about also uh, our sheriff's department here in the county as far as uh, being protecting the people and the fire departments, we face a lot coming because of growth. And it, people say, how about West Lake area? Yes, that area also is going to grow. Now, it's not going to grow as quickly as the East Lincoln area. We know that. But we've got to approach the things, and it's a must for people to realize that. In other words, when you look at East Lincoln area, what happens at East Lincoln does affect West Lincoln. Because imagine, if we can get all these corporations to locate here, which I envision, 
being to attract, then it's going to affect the tax base of everybody in the county. It's going to be able to keep their taxes at a reasonable rate instead of going way up like it can happen. So that's the answer to your question. How do you propose to accomplish that? <laughs> in all honesty, being honest with the people, that is our county. I do not feel like that people have been talked to in the correct manner. That is, if you explain to somebody what your goal is, and then you give them the reasons why, and ask them, do you agree? Just let, be a good listener, listen to the, to the people of the county. But the point is, is that a good idea? And I don't think there's many people that's gonna come back and say, no, that's not a good idea. I think people realize that in order to keep our taxes down as far as individual taxes uh, for the homeowners, landowners, that we've got to have more corporations. Now, our industrial park here on 321 is good, it's excellent, but guess what? It's filled up. Now, we're looking at expanding over on the uh, business side of 321 off of the uh, Four Lane Highway, but the business side, uh, but that's not enough. We're, we're close, the proximity to Charlotte, where I'm speaking of, you can actually be at the airport in roughly uh, 15, 20 minutes. From where I live, it's 25 minutes, not long at the airport. Imagine corporations being able to zoom out from their corporate offices at the airport, gone. I mean, it's, it's we're sitting on a, a great spot if we'll just develop it. So we've got to be honest with the public, get the public to realize that, hey, we've got to come forth, even if it means by floating a bond or whatever it is to come up with the money to do what we need to do, it's going to pay great dividends in the end. Obviously, if if bonds are issued, you, you are looking at potential of, of taxes in order to pay for those bonds, at least initially, until you get more industry to, to help uh, pay the taxes on that and so forth, uh, the, the bond off uh, once you issue them. Uh, additionally, one of the things that came up at the uh, candidates forum down at uh, East Lincoln was about the government center. You were probably one of two and certainly the most outspoken in favor of going ahead with the government center that had been talked about. Commissioners uh, have currently put that at least on hold, if not totally rejected the idea for now. Well, that's true, Wayne. Okay. Would you? Is that still your opinion that we need to build it, uh, considering where we are at this particular point? Well, I think I think we need to explore the idea of you're speaking of the old hospital. Is what you're speaking of as a government center? Uh, we've got to realize that uh, in 1990, roughly that, that era of time. Uh, since then, this county has has grown. A tremendous amount. This county is going to continue to grow. It's going to happen. It doesn't make any difference whether somebody really likes it or not. It's going to continue growing as far as our population base. Now, if it does continue to grow, and it will, but will you need more offices? Will you need more government center offices? And the answer, of course, is yes, you will. It's like any business. If you're in a John Deere business and if you keep expanding and growing, you've got to have more room. There's no difference in government. You're going to have to have that. Now, when is the right time to accomplish that? Is it put it off, put it off, put it off, where it really costs you more every year, and we've known costs have always gone up. It hasn't gone down. Not in my lifetime. I watched it go up, up, up. And so I think we need to explore how can we go in there in that building. And we've already got, of course, you know, all the drawings and all that as far as architectural and everything. Can we do a, a partial part of it and then kind of like a shell? In other words, then you can do the rest of it a little bit later. But, but that too, yes, I'm, I'm for moving forward with it. Uh, I don't mean necessarily next year, but I, I don't like the idea of keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, when I know what's gonna happen in the end. In the end, it's really gonna bite you. It's gonna get you and hit you hard. The fact that you did not do what you should have done. So I think the difference in my candidacy is I'm a futuristic person. I look down the road more than just at the present because I see what we need to do. 
We need to have a plan that's scan for 20 years, for example, a 20-year growth plan. And then five years after that, you do it again. You keep going. You need to have plans in place. That is the way you provide leadership. That's the way you uh, provide, for example, I mentioned one of the forums, Wayne, about the, the fact that our, our recreation facilities here in this county are lacking. I mean, that's the truth. They are lacking. If I look at uh, any county that surrounds us, if I go to Rock Hill in South Carolina, I look at some of their ballparks there off of Cherry Road and everything, complexes they have. I look at uh, Cabarrus County. I look at Mecklenburg County. I look at all these things, uh, and they've got nice complexes. Is that, is that attractive to an industry coming to your area? Well, the answer, sir, certainly is yes. Not only is it good for your citizens right now, our people here right now, but for bringing more business in. That's, the, that's what you've got to realize is we've got to have more businesses locate here that'll help us with our tax base. And I keep referring back to taxes. Do I like to pay taxes? Well, I don't mind paying some, I pay a lot. But I do know, I have good judgment that I know my taxes uh, due to all the expansion we're gonna be having will probably continue to rise over the years, unless we can get some more industry in here. So all of this ties together. My vision is this county needs to move forward, and yes, having a government center is part of it. We need to, to go ahead and get that into plans, get, even if we don't complete the entire thing, do a partial, and then get the, or you can do the rest of it. Most important question of all, I think I can ask you, why should someone vote for you as one of their two choices for Lincoln County Commissioner? Well, I think, uh, you look at my business background, uh, I've been blessed in life. God's blessed me. Blessed me with a wonderful wife, wonderful children. I live in a county that I'm proud of. Uh, now, I look at what I bring to the table. A lot of experience. I haven't had any failures in business. Been successful. And people say, well, you're just lucky. Well, I would say that I'm also lucky, but on the other hand, effort that you put into something, the planning that you do as an individual to put in something. I know in the radio station business, you and I mentioned that very first of, of the uh, interview here, that uh, I was the first FM station, independent FM station in the state of South Carolina, the very first one. Now you had some in Spartanburg, Columbia, Greenville, that were in Charleston that were supported by television and an AM station at that time, but I was the first. That was in 1969, believe it or not. 1969, the very first FM station in the state of South Carolina. Wasn't many FM radios around. Tough. Guess what? Operated in the black the very first year. I think that speaks to volumes. Operated Green Line Turf and Tractor, John Deere dealership. I was named number four in one year. There were three other names of that dealership besides Green Line Turf and Tractor. People said, man, you got the odds kind of stacked against you. I said, I think I can do it. And I believe that, that I present a, a vision, a leadership that is just uh, what this county needs at this time. There's a lot of other good people running for our commissioner, but I believe that I can kind of lead the way.